Welcome to a special edition of the 76 Capital Leadership Series. This is our Father's Day edition. Our team at 76 Capital is going to share with all of you how their fathers have influenced them and made them the people that they are today. So we're excited about this show today. And as we've had throughout this whole leadership series, we've heard from a lot of great leaders. We've gotten a lot of great advice and just learned a lot from leaders within the sports industry. And that's what we're all about at 76 Capital, bringing together leaders, experts within the sports industry, because we wanna to try to help the overall ecosystem of sports. We're all about investing in entrepreneurs that want to change the world, that want to make the impossible possible. And that's what we do every single day at 76 Capital is we invest in companies in the sports tech industry and the esports industry and the sports betting industry. So I hope all of you have an opportunity to sit back and enjoy some of the great stories that my team and I will share with you about our fathers. My name is Wayne Kimmel, Managing Partner of 76 Capital, and I'm really excited to share with you my story about my dad on Father's Day. My dad grew up on 163rd Street in the Bronx, a stone's throw from Yankee Stadium. He loved Mickey Mantle. And that's why after my seventh grade baseball season, when I was having trouble hitting curveballs from the right side of the plate, he made me a switch hitter, just like the Mick. And he talked about it all the time. By the way, I could still take him deep from the left side. You know, my dad never missed any of my games. He was a lawyer, and if he was in court, he would tell the judge that he would have to take an early recess just so he can get to my football game, my basketball game, or baseball game. He did the same thing for my son, which meant so much to me. And he just loved going to our games. He was a huge Philly sports fan. He either attended or watched every Eagles, Phillies, Flyers, and Sixers games. We traveled the country together to go to games. I will never forget the trip we took to California. Right before I went to college, we started in San Diego. We went to a Padres game. Then we went up the coast a little bit to Anaheim, and we went to see, at the time, the Raiders in a preseason game. Then we continued up the coast to Los Angeles and went to a Dodgers game at Dodger Stadium. And then we drove up to San Francisco and went to Candlestick Park and went to a day game there and the winds were whipping, I'll never forget that. It was an incredible experience. And then we wrapped up the trip with an Oakland A's game in Oakland. One of those unbelievable memories where it was just myself and my dad, and we loved going to games together. And when my dad retired from the practice of law, I actually got him a job. I got him a job with the Delaware 87ers, which was the D-League affiliate of the Philadelphia 76ers. And he became their general counsel, and he was their leader in the community and, and well as in the business community. And he had the best time doing that. And it was something that really meant a lot to me to see how happy he was that he was getting a chance to do something in sports. He was a true leader. He made everyone around him feel special. My dad taught my siblings and me to be nice, to be passionate, to be tough, and to be an optimistic person. He always talked about how important it was to respect others and, of course, take care of our mom and always stressed to me it was important for me to take care of my wife, Kimby, as well as my children and my family. He always said, live life passionately, laugh until your belly hurts, love unconditionally, and work every day to make the world a better place for all, all people. He helped everybody. The stories that we hear about the things that he did are incredible, and I'm so proud to be his son. And, you know, some of these things may be sound a little familiar to some of you who know 76 Capital. Well, I learned a lot from him because I'm really proud and I'm really proud to raise my children, Sabrina and Hunter, 
and also help all the entrepreneurs that we invest in at 76 Capital to do things like my dad did. So maybe that's again why our philosophy at 76 Capital is all about working with passionate and smart and nice entrepreneurs who are working to change the world. My dad, right here over my shoulder, passed away two years ago. I miss him like crazy. But I'm also really fortunate because I have a loving family and I also have an amazing father-in-law who also is loving and he's wonderful and he's thoughtful and he's just a really, really good person. So I lucked out and I hope many of you out there have had the same experiences as well. I'm really happy that we're doing this today at 76 Capital in honor of all of our dads and I wish you if today is your day and you're a father, happy Father's Day, and also wishing all of you and your fathers a happy Father's Day. Hi, everybody. Welcome to the 76 Capital Leadership Series on Father's Day. Want to wish everybody a happy Father's Day and uh, hope everybody is having a good day. Uh, wanted to talk about my father for a few minutes and uh, think about the memories that I had with him. And uh, first of all, I want to say that I hit the jackpot with my father. He was an amazing person. He took care of his family. He was hardworking, organized, always did the best he could at everything he did, respected everyone, and was not, it was very non judgmental on people. Just uh, listened to people, what they had to say, and uh, had a lot of respect for everybody. Um, one of the my favorite memories uh, working in the sports industry or being in the sports industry was uh, my family owned the Philadelphia Stars, the USFL. And uh, it was a wonderful experience for three years being a part of uh, a new venture, uh, seeing it grow from year to year uh, and being involved in trips that on the away trips, the home home games and the camaraderie that we had with not only the players, but the other owners and the coaches. And it was just a wonderful experience. Um, one of my favorite or, or one of not a favorite memory, but one of my memories from when I was a little kid was that my father took me to a Phillies game at Connie Mack stadium. We sat in a field box, uh, right on the field. And as a little kid that was seven or eight years old, just looking around, mesmerized by the people and the situation and the game. It was something that uh, I don't remember a lot about, but I had a, it made an impression on, impression on me uh, tremendously. As it relates to spending time together and doing trips together, as a family, we spent a lot of time in the Poconos uh, pretty much every weekend and every holiday, whether it was Christmas, Thanksgiving, spring break, summer, uh, we spent all our time up there. In the summertime, we'd play tennis and horseback ride. Uh, in the wintertime, we did a lot of skiing. And those were the sports that we were focused on up in the Poconos. Uh, also, my some of my memories with my father is sitting down watching the Olympics in the Poconos, Summer Olympics, Winter Olympics on the weekends or during the week and uh, just experienced the whole Olympic movement, which was very big when I was growing up, uh, more so than it is today. Um, so it was just a wonderful experience uh, as it relates to maybe some tips for sporting tips. Uh, if you're going to get involved in a sport, uh, I would suggest you come up with a plan uh, and have fun. That's the most important thing. So uh, with that being said, I wanna wish everybody a happy Father's Day and look forward, look forward to catching up with everybody on the other side uh, later on down the road. Happy Father's Day, everybody. Hey, it's Mike Schreiber, General Partner of 76 Capital. Happy Father's Day. Today I'm going to talk a little bit about my father. Um, and uh, usually in my past jobs managing TV networks and news networks, I had studios and great technology. Today, a little different. I have my new technology with me today. And... I'm going to continue. Um, so the, uh, uh, the first is uh, really my connection with sports when I was younger really came from my father. 
Uh, we would go to Memorial Stadium in Baltimore and watch the Oriole games. We'd go to the Colts games, the Baltimore Colts games, um, uh, with my father and my grandfather until obviously they disappeared in the middle of the night in 1985. As a 10-year-old, that was tough. Um, I shared moments uh, like the opening day at Camden Yards with my father, even came back from college to, to spend the day with my father and go to Cal Ripken's record-breaking game. So uh, lots, of, lots of moments early in. I didn't follow in his footsteps in my career. He's an attorney and a, a, a partner at a law firm, but I did certainly learn uh, a lot about work ethic from him um, over the years. I ended up, uh, when I was younger, looking at art, architecture, engineering, uh, I ended up going into the business world um, in entertainment, so I was selling um, and doing the commercial side of the creative world, um, which I enjoyed for many years. Um, so uh, 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 different paths, but we've always been together, always sharing sports as one of our sort of the cornerstones of our relationship with my father and I. I'd be remiss if I didn't mention also my grandfathers, um, both my dad's father, who uh, ran a, um, uh, we got some images here over my shoulder, it's my technology. Um, and uh, um, the uh, we can click maybe a couple couple more here. The um, <laughs> um, my grandfather, my father's father, ran a grocery store called Schreiber's uh, in Baltimore. We had a number of locations. Um, interestingly enough, uh, he uh, was always tan, always in his always in his best uh, best clothes. Um, but I think maybe he had one lapse in judgment, and his head of HR for Schreiber's was a guy named Spiro Agnew who some people may know as the ousted vice president under Richard Nixon. So anyhow, I'll leave that one there. But my other grandfather, my mother, my mother's father, um, was, was a really an inspiring story as well. An immigrant coming over from the Ukraine, uh, turned to be an amazing entrepreneur in the US, created a, a furniture, a retail furniture store chain. Um, really successful um, and, and, and an inspiration as well. So uh, back to my father, uh, he's getting over a really tough year from a health perspective, uh, coming back to full strength, so it's very exciting. Um, uh, and you know, he certainly made an impression on me in terms of ally parent. Um, you can see, uh, hopefully, some of the results of my parents around me, uh, my parenting around me here. Um, but anyhow, I wanted to say thank you, Dad, for, for being a great dad and happy Father's Day. Happy Father's Day. Happy Father's Day. Happy Father's Day. Hello, I'm Chad Stender. I'm the Managing Director at 76 Capital. I appreciate everyone taking the time to allow us to share a little bit about our dads, our grandparents, and for some of us that are dads, our experiences. It's incredibly tough times out there. I hope everyone had an opportunity to share the day with loved ones and to be around the people you care the most about and overall, we just really need to help each other and take care of the people that we love and, and all of us overall. Um, so a little bit about my dad, uh, Larry Stender. He was born in Brooklyn, so grew up in New York. And it was instilled in him at a very young age to work hard and good things will come from it. And I'm so blessed and lucky to have had that um, as really as part of my family and something that's always been instilled in all of us. Um, my grandmother, my dad's mom, worked until she was 87 as a part-time bookkeeper. So it was always about hard work. My dad went to Brooklyn University, was able to put himself through college on an academic scholarship, and then went on to Temple University to dental school, and then finally Pittsburgh University um, and became a periodontist. And then joined the Air Force to help pay for the schooling and moved out to California. And then finally it was time for my parents to put the roots down and they ended up in Lancaster, Pennsylvania, where I grew up. And again, it was, Lancaster's known for hard work and quality and determined people. And I was very lucky. That's always been part of me and part of my DNA. And I thank my dad, I thank my parents for really instilling that in me. Um, and the other big life lesson that I learned from my parents was that when they started in Lancaster, my dad was one of the first few periodontists and he hung up the shingle and my mom asked him, you know, how he was gonna get business. And she realized that networking was gonna be critical. And so really my mom went out there and they befriended all the referring um, practice leaders in dentistry. They went to the events 
And so I was so fortunate to get to learn and understand the importance of hard work and the good things that come from networking. And I would say the lessons I've learned from my dad and from my parents were that um, it was a lesson, not always what they taught me, but what they showed and led by example. My greatest sports moment I have, um, I've been very lucky that sports has been part of my life. I loved playing them, I loved watching them. I was able to do that with my dad. He coached my soccer team, our travel teams, my brother and I. And the sports moment I will never forget is a Christian Leitner shot. It was in Philadelphia. It was in the spectrum. I wasn't even supposed to be at the game. Um, someone had gotten sick the day before. I ended up grabbing that last ticket with my dad. And every March that shot is shown almost every day of the tournament for, for the month straight. And it brings back the most incredible memories. And there's something so powerful about sports. And then to fast forward, I'm now a dad of two. And so many of the lessons that I've learned, um, my parents taught me, were they led by example. And now I understand the lessons that they were providing and what they were doing for me and my brother and my sister. And, and to me, I can't thank them for enough for what they've done for us, what they've shown us. And that hard work, that networking, and going out there and making it happen is something that I, I can't thank them enough for. And I thank you for allowing me to share my story with you. Hope everyone had a great Father's Day, Father-in-Law's Day, Grandfather's Day, and to all the expecting dads, best of luck. Everyone, my name is James Santor. I am the Chief of Staff at 76 Capital, and I wanna wish everybody out there a happy Father's Day, uh, especially to my dad, my grandpa, Wayne, Chad, Mike, John, and any other dads out there that may be missing. Uh, it's really great to have such great role models out there uh, for me personally and they're the types of people that I want to be like when I'm a dad myself. Specifically my dad who has kept me just going in the right direction my entire life and has always been there for me every step of the way. Uh, whether that's been baseball where I've had to deal with a lot of injuries and a lot of up and downs in my career. Whether that's work where I've had to change my career path and really find what's right for me. And he has always just shown me that a strong work, that work ethic and um, the right mentality can make you successful. So I'm so lucky to have a man like that in my life that's uh, really just been there every step of the way. Whether that's been making me do 100 push-ups a day as a eight-year-old, whether that's been him making me go to the gym at 12 years old at 5 a.m. with him, and all those little things that at the time I you know, thought were really annoying. Uh, but now that I look back, I realize how amazing it is that he's been able to instill that work ethic and the passion and drive that I have for, for everything that I do in life. So I'm very blessed to have my dad be there for me like that. And I can't ever thank him enough. Um, just love him a lot and uh, really appreciate him. And, and the same way I appreciate and love my dad, same with my grandpa. He uh, He's made my dad a great person and a great dad. And everything that he's taught me in life and all the stories he's shared with me have really helped make me the person I am today. So um, eternally grateful for the people that I have in my life and, and all the dads. And again, that's Wayne, Chad, Mike, and John as well. They are such great role models for me and, and have really just changed the way I, I view life and the way I'll be a dad in the future. So happy Father's Day to everybody out there. And thank you so much again to everybody that's helped been a positive influence in my life, um, especially my dad and my grandpa. So happy Father's Day, guys. Hi, my name is Krista Siriani. I'm the senior graphic designer at 76 Capital. I want to wish all you dads out there a happy Father's Day. Um, those who have biological children, those who do not have biological children, um, you do incredible work and you definitely lift lives up with those around you. Um, I've been fortunate enough to have uh, both my grandparents um, for most of my life and my father for my entire life. Um, my grandfather and father have taught me many things, especially. Um, in the later years of my life um, um, how to be a great person and they are definitely wonderful role models that I had the joy to be around. Um, I was born on my dad's 30th birthday so <laughs> it's always made birthdays fun and exciting um, and it's something that I've grown <laughs> as an adult to love at the same time. Um, but while you know I've been fortunate enough to have both grandfather and dad to be able to celebrate with today. 
um, I know that there's many people who don't have that opportunity um, to have their biological fathers in their lives. Um, but fathers can come in many forms. It can be stepdads, grandfathers, uncles, family friends, friends, dads, community leaders, neighbors. It, the list can go on and on. Just because you don't have a biological father doesn't mean that you can't learn from men and really women around you who can influence your life in great ways. Um, so I would love to take this moment to congratulate all of you people who, and honor you people who have taken in children, taken in, you know, colleagues or, um, you know, your peers and taught them things that um, are traditionally thought of as a dad learning lesson. And those of you who are complete strangers who are teaching children, especially um, things that a dad would teach their kids. There's a YouTube channel called Dad How Do I, which is wonderful for those people who don't have dads or whose people whose dads are overseas and they don't have the opportunity to ask, you know, what is a wrench or has a story time read by them. Um, so really this is I can tell you so many things that I've learned in my life from, you know, male figures in my life, whether it be my father, my grandfathers, my uncles, you know, the neighbor down the street. But really, um, it, I just want to say thank you to those who are doing the work and putting in time to teach young people um, the ways of life from their perspective. And I hope that you all have a nice, relaxing day and that wherever you are, it's nice outside and that you're staying safe staying sane and staying happy with those around you. So thank you so much. Have a good day. Hi, my name is Taylor Wasserman and I am a marketing associate for 76 Capital. I wanted to reach out and say happy Father's Day to all the dads out there. Big special day. I wanted to shout out my own dad who has always been there for me. He's the best and I love him so much since I was a little kid playing soccer and reading me Harry Potter. It's the best thing ever. And to my stepdad, Ian, thank you so much for being there. You're the best. I couldn't ask for a better stepdad in my life. Happy Father's Day, everyone.